I don't care who your favorite Superman is. Like, I think that this guy did this specific thing the best. Hey everyone, Andrew here, Melbourne Superman, super fit cosplay. So I'm gonna today go through 10 of the most iconic Superman moments in each one of the movies, in my opinion. Now, when I say each one of the movies, I mean a different ver each different version, right? So there's, in my mind, uh, for the movies, I've got Christopher Reeve, Brandon Routh, Henry Cavill. So I'm gonna go top 10, my opinion, these are some of the best moments that I have ever experienced with Superman movies. These are the ones that whenever I think of these movies, I'm like, wow, yeah, that that was a moment. That was a vibe. Like, that sends sh just chills down my spine. And <laughs> I, I could probably watch these scenes all the time, whether it's because of the music or just the action of it or the cinematography. Now, these are these were hard to pick. I could probably pick like a thousand more. But these were my... These were the ones that like... Basically, I thought of right away. Uh, I didn't want to think too much time on it. I wanted to just go like laser fast and pick the, the moments that came to me right away rather than thinking too hard on it. Because I knew that the ones that came out first were the ones that truly were the ones. So, all right, here we go. So, number 10. Superman Returns. The bullet to the eye. <laughs> so... This was a crazy scene. I remember watching this and I'm like, this guy, I mean, we've seen Superman a thousand times be shot and nothing happens. But when you see that close up and you see the bullet slowly going toward his eye and you're like, what's going to happen? And then it just like crunches and flattens. That is such a cool scene. It's such like it's shot so well, no pun intended. Uh, and it just, it just looks cool. It just looks really cool. The coloring of it, his eye, the gold of the bullet, it's neat. It's a lot of fun. Number nine. Again, Superman Returns. The, now, I could lump the entire plane rescue in with this, but specifically for me, the moment that I, that, that got me was the, was the, when he lands the plane in the baseball field and it's like, it's like quiet for a second and all of a sudden, you just like you just like hear the crowd and it's like Superman, Superman. It's like the first time they've seen this guy in five years, and the music swells and he's just like looking at the crowd and it's such a cool it's such a cool scene. Love that. Number eight, Cavill's first flight. So the Man of Steel, Cavill's first flight. I love this scene because it's kind of the first time really that we 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 saw how powerful Superman was. At, in flight like comic books aside like this was such a cool like it was so well shot the music oh the Hans Zimmer score the flight ugh, it's just so good and like the emotion like anybody who says that Henry Cavill was an emotionless Superman watch this scene because he's like so excited to do it he's like laughing he's smiling it's a lot of fun we really see him playing with the character number seven the Snyder Cut of the Justice League Specifically, not impressed. I loved that moment when Superman shows up, Steppenwolf hits him with the axe, he's just like, <laughs> he just freezes it and shatters it and he's just like not impressed and the music's going, it's that Superman rising piece of music. It's such a cool scene and Superman just kicks the crap out of Steppenwolf and it just like culminates in this epic, epic finale. So I love that scene. I, I, I really dig the black suit. It's I, I love the black suit. I, I just think it's cool. Number six, Superman 2, the Fortress of Solitude switching up scene. So at the end, in the Fortress of Solitude, when Superman steps into the power chamber again for the second time, but this time he basically switches it so that the, crypt, the rogue Kryptonians, Zod, Ursa, and Nan, they lose their powers. And then that, when he comes out, and he grabs Zod's hand and he starts squeezing it. And you see the pain in Terrence Stamp's eyes and Zod's eyes. And you you hear again, you hear the fanfare. I'm a big, like the music for me does it for these movies, right? Um, you hear that music and you just like, you just like know what's, what's happening now. And you know that Superman has just outsmarted these three with the help of Lex Luthor inadvertently. 
<laughs> so I love that. I love that. Number five, halfway through now. Number five, Superman three, the Superman versus Superman entire scene. So that is such a, like for the time, I mean, the effects don't really hold up now. Well, I mean, they kind of do, but there are a couple moments where you can really tell, like, especially when he's grabbing his neck and, uh, or, or when he's about to launch him off, you're like, oh yeah, no, that's, that's not great. But like, it's such a cool scene and you really see the difference of Christopher Reeve, evil Christopher Reeve and, and good Christopher Reeve or evil Superman, good Superman. He, he acted the hell out of that. And it all culminates with the, 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 the shirt rip and you get the brighter costume again and then some of the best flying i think we see in superman 3 i'm not gonna lie some of the best flying and again the music is swelling and he's going to fix everything that's like not great that he's done and i just love that i love that one shot of him flying over uh over the water to go and fix the oil tanker very cool number four superman screaming when lois dies so this 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 is intense. So in the first one, Superman the movie, when he finds Lois in her car and she's dead, and he has that moment, and he's just like, no, 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 and then he flies up, and you see that ang that anger and that despair and ev that rage, and it reminds me of the death of Superman comic book, when Superman, I think that the 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 panel it says something like and now doomsday gets his and we see superman flying toward him that is like the same kind of feeling and it's like so well done and i don't know this for a fact but i'm gonna guess that i would imagine that in 1990 i think 93 when that comic book came out i'll bet they took that i'll, I'll bet they took that um that inspiration from from that scene from chris i'll bet i don't know that for a fact but i like to believe that <laughs> number three the Superman 4 speech. I know that Superman 4 is sort of the black sheep of the Superman family, but do you know what? I love Superman 4. Like, I have a special place in my heart. Like, don't at me, whatever. But that scene at the end of it, you know, once more we've survived the threat of war. And that whole, like, that, 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 like, brings to the forefront the idea of what Superman 4 wanted to be and the message that it wanted to give. And I love it. Like, it's an inspiring piece, uh, speech. You know, there will be peace. There'll be peace when the people of the world want it so badly that the governments would have no choice but to give it to them. And that is so relevant. Like, is it realistic? Is it naive? But I think he delivered that well. And I think it was just, it's beautifully written speech. Number two. Here we go, top two. General, would you care to step outside? Whoa. That, like, again, with the music, like, he's just been defeated, or at least that's what he wants you to think. And, well, sorry, he's just gotten, I, I've jumped the gun, actually. Him being defeated comes later. <laughs> he's just gotten his powers back. Um, after he's just been powerless, he'd got his butt kicked in a diner. Uh... And, you know, the three Kryptonians and Lex are at the Daily Planet and they're just trying to raise hell. And all of a sudden the music goes, you see the newspapers and you just see him at the window. General, would you care to step outside? And it is such a great scene. It's so Superman. It's so powerful. I love it. Number one. Number one. Now, this was hard. This was hard. Just kind of like... Honorable mention to the first time that he ever, like... He ever reveals the S yes, uh, when he's when he's about to go save the helicopter. I don't care who your favorite Superman is. Like I think that this guy did this specific thing the best with the music, with how it with how it unfolded. Nobody's nobody's done it better. I think I think in my opinion. But so honorable mention of that. But easy miss. I've got you. You've got me. Who's got you? I just got chills just thinking about it because, like, who wrote that? I mean, I know who wrote that. But, like, it's such a fun, like, just, it's it's so much fun, that little scene. And it's, like, this big rescue. Actually, that's what it's called on the soundtrack, the big rescue. And it's just, like, this is the best opening to Superman, I think, that we've seen on screen. And that little chemistry section between him and Margot Kidder, Lois Lane... I just think it works. I just think it works. I think it holds up. I think it's funny, yet, you know, um, there are stakes there. 
And it's just the right amount of, of fun. And I just love it. I love it. Like, every time uh, I, I, like, I probably quote it, like, five times a year. I'm like, S -s -s something. Like, easy, miss. I've got you. <laughs> Nobody ever gets it. Um, so, yeah. So, those were my top ten favorite moments in the Superman movies. What are yours? What are your favorite moments? Comment down below. I'd, like, I'd love to know what they are. Uh, I'd, love to, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and remember, if you are liking this channel and you want me to keep going, because I would like to keep going, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, ding, ding, share it around, really helps, really helps the channel out. Watch to the end, too, if you're here, thanks. Um, but yeah, make sure you follow me at Melbourne Superman on Instagram. Look, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.